it was a problem and not, not a major problem but a slight problem i said why why is this a problem why do we have to say thank you jesus why not thank you god and what, why would this be a problem god is the creator of all things why would it be a problem and i remember having this little slight problem and this is so i remember being in an area where i didn't know what i believed all i knew is that there definitely was a god a creator and i'm just gonna pray to that god the creator i can't go wrong with that and this is where i was in this this gray area now in, upon investigating all the religions i remember finding out the meaning of what islam is what a muslim is those who surrender their self to god is a muslim those who surrender submit to god god's will that is it and i checked out the meaning of other religions etc like when i went in the dictionary the christian is the followers of christ i'm thinking to myself every religion that i kind of looked into they elevated to me it seemed like they elevated someone's status or something status other than god other than god to such a high level where they almost like worshiping that person or that thing if it's not hell mary or jesus or moses or um highly selassie etc they were elevating someone else's status a cow a this a that and i felt like islam was pure it was just you just pray to God, your creator. And I almost felt like, hold on a second. If all of us was not influenced by our country that we was born in or raised in or by our parents. And at the age of, let's say, 21, when you leave school, they say, oh, by the way, everyone has to choose a religion. And they put all these religions in front of you and you had no influence. You was not biased at all. This would be the one with all belief. 99% of mankind would believe this because it's the most believable. Everyone could agree that they was created by God because the fact is the evidence is yourself. So you know there's a God because you look at your own human body, you look at nature. And then if, you're, if this one religion is saying all you do is you submit to that God, everyone will say, well, that's the clearest, easiest, simplest, straightforward, black and white. God created me, I should submit to him. How do I know that I should submit to Jesus? I might get to judgment then God says, why was you praying to him when he didn't make you? And did Jesus, did you tell these people to worship you? He said, no, I didn't tell them to worship me. So this is, this is like you're taking a risk. And all of them were similar. And obviously I, take this life very, I started taking this life very serious. I'm not here to take any risk. I just wanted to go with what was the most truth seeming in my heart. And this was Islam. This is why I ended up with Islam. Muslim Bilal, tell us, for some of the people out there, sincere truth seekers who want to know the truth, but now they've been caught up, misled by some of the false fallacies that are out there about Islam. For instance, oppression of women, violence that has been associated with. Now, it's one thing we know as Muslims that Islam caused everything good. Everything good, because God is good and he only accepts good. So tell us, what do you have to say about that when you come across a person that has Islam associated with some of these bad things? For the people who uh put islam with violence and crime and saying people oppress we put oppress our women etc do you know all i can say is islam death is the opposite it taught it teaches you manners and perfects your character it's taught me manners and how to perfect my character and everything in the way you treat your women is like i said in everything you do now, you're God conscious. It what is gonna be good to write down in my book. It's not good for the angels to write down in my book while I'm here. He was someone who was aggressive and angry towards his wife and used to treat her badly. This is not what I want. So I'm gonna try and treat her softly, have understanding, and try and please her, try and make her happy while she's here. Because I know the angels write that down, this is gonna be good for me. I want her to I want to be someone who had good character, was good with my neighbor, who treat it's not just about praying and fasting, it said the one with the good character.